this is Aurora's oldest home from uh, dating from the early 1840s. Uh, it's an original uh, square log cabin that was built uh, by the Petch family when they moved to this area. Very important that we restored this house in order for us to properly recognize our history. Uh, extremely important to, uh, to pay homage to where we came from. Uh, this was a very important local piece that we needed to rescue. Most of the work here has been done by our parks crew with the more than able assistance of Peter Van Nostrand. They have done an absolutely terrific job of restoring this house to the way it would have been back in the 1800s. Structural is pretty much done. We're waiting for windows, obviously. Uh, doors will be going in. Uh, some cosmetic finishings with the barn board that we're putting up today. And an outside trim on corner caps. Stuff. Aluminum soffit, I think, is uh, probably going to happen in the next couple of weeks, too. It unfortunately uh, sat fallow for a number of years and was in, in fairly rough shape when it was taken down and restored by Peter Van Nostrand. Uh, so Peter and his crew, as well as our parks crew, like I said, have done a pretty spectacular job of bringing it back to where it should be. at the end of the month of May uh, at the Petch House and the project's almost wrapped up. We're down to exterior finishes, uh, landscaping and getting the, the project absolutely completed. Everything's old. It's all the same material, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty stable. It's, yeah. It's stable. You know, we try to maintain as much of the original integrity as possible although it still has to adhere to today's building codes and standards. So we still have some finishing work you can see on the outside. We're gonna landscape this area and put a hard surface down. There's some decorative um, concrete work that has to go along the bottom of the foundation up against those blocks to clean up the outside. Uh, we'll do some landscaping, some heritage landscaping. We've got some uh, horticulturists working on that right now to get some, you know, uh, representation of what landscaping used to be. One, two, three. Hey, all right. Beauty. This was a labor of love for the Parks and Recreation Department. Uh, the building was originally dedicated to the town, moved to a site uh, off, this, uh, off this area on Leslie Street. Uh, several uh, reports were provided to Council to determine what uh, potential uses were for the building. However, during that period of time it fell into a state of disrepair. And I am happy to say that we have, through uh, about a year's worth of work, um, created a new site uh, for, uh, for the Patch House. It is back into its original state. Um, and uh, with its original cladding, or at least a, a replica of its original cladding, uh, ready to for its next life. We're not quite sure what that's going to be, but we're very happy it is now home and safe and uh, available for whatever future use might be. We have done a lot of work to restore this the way it should be. Uh, it's, it's a way for us to properly recognize our heritage and uh, to look back to help us look forward.